I just told those guys, man, like I'm happy for them. I'm proud of them. But at the same time, we expected to win. And, you know, hey, this is a rivalry game, but this is not, you know, um, anything that we didn't think that we couldn't do. This is not an upset. You know, at the end of the day, they're a great team, but we're a great team too. And I said, hey, they had 54 points in the first half last time we played them. Tonight they have 50, and that's the ball game, right? We defended um, a team that's had a, you know, that scored a lot of points so far against a lot of good teams. Oh, we know uh, they like to get out and run on the, at the beginning of the games and the, all throughout the game. They're a fast team and they like to get out and run, so we just had to slow them down. And once we did, we're good. So, yeah, slow, did, did it feel like the game was a little too fast at first because, I mean, you guys had some turnovers and stuff mm -hmm. and you just calmed down a little bit? Uh, the energy, uh, I think, plays into it a lot. But once we got down, uh, well, we just got together, came to as a team and won. Um, obviously, we wanted to come out and have a better start than we did last time. And it wasn't as bad as last time, right? And I thought once we relaxed, and hey, it's a, it's a great environment, it's a packed house, you're in front of your home crowd, right? Your friends, your family, and, you know, you know, in the beginning, everybody's a little bit nervous, right? And um, I just think we had to work our nerves out a little bit. And once we settled in, we got some stops, we made some shots. The best thing about it was we still defended, even though we were turning the ball over. We still made it work. And that was the biggest thing I felt all game is we got to defend these guys. Kids are kids. They're going to notice when a couple of NBA players are sitting behind the bench. Did you <laughs> say anything or was there anything? Did that come up at all where you try to calm them down a little bit? Or No, I didn't talk to them about it. They were all excited. Once Donovan Mitchell put that tweet out, it was a wrap, right? I mean, I knew they were coming, but um, once he put that out, they were, I mean, it was right when school ended, and they immediately, Coach, is he coming? He's coming. And I said, yeah, they're coming. Um, so, but they were okay. Yeah, it was amazing. It was probably the best crowd I ever played against. So, yeah, it was fun. It don't matter. They're on the sideline. We on the court. We got to go out there and win. But glad they came out and watched us play and watched us get a win. You know, obviously, it's big to have this game on your home court, but what do you feel like the difference from, say, a month and a half ago when you play over there versus now? Well, obviously, the court may play a big uh, part of it, but as a team, we've grown. We're a different team than we are then. I think in the first half last time, Coach told us they had like 53, and today they only had like 50. So that just that shows how much we've grown and how we lock down on defense. I feel like we're handling pressure a lot well, a lot, lot better. Like in the yeah. first time I played Edge, we turned the ball over, over and over, but in, even in the first uh, quarter, we turned the ball over a lot, but we came together and handled the ball, so. You know, we have a lot of talent on paper, but we still have a lot of new guys in some roles they weren't in last year. Damon didn't play varsity, right? Um, Reese Robinson wasn't with us. Ace Buckner wasn't our point guard, right? Jack Zapolinik was playing JV. Mike Lamarin was playing JV. Um, Sam Spring, I mean, those guys are really, really good, but it takes a little bit of time with our schedule, and every game is going to be a tough one. So. And also, I mean, you guys really loaded up game-wise. Remember, I think I asked you after the St. Louis game how many games you had already played. You know, <laughs> yeah. does it feel like, especially this month, you've been able to really yeah. get into a rhythm with practice and stuff where maybe you didn't earlier in yeah. the year, too? Yeah, um, it feels good to have some a little bit of a breather and you know when we made the schedule I felt like hey we're going to have opportunities to relax a little bit later in the season which is good because now we want to get those days of practice and get ready to build because what's most important is obviously to try to make a run in March.